Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I just wanted to explain my solid viewport settings for Blender. Now this is for Blender 4.02, but it, it's really for any, there might be you know some changes with where some settings are and stuff, but this is the settings that I always rock. And once I found these, my modeling process got a lot better because I wasn't worried about you know, feeling claustrophobic in the viewport or, you know, just not being able to see my detail on my buildings and stuff. So this will work for any type of modeling. It doesn't have to be a building, doesn't have to be environment design or anything. It could be a character, it could be whatever, okay? But what I do want you to take out of this, uh, even if you don't copy my settings, is kind of the reason why I have these settings, okay? So first off, we're going to just, uh, I'm just going to snap here. And there's going to be a model on the screen and uh, we will just tweak the model so that way it has uh, it has my lighting setting so you guys can kind of get a difference between the two okay guys so I'm back with the building uh, as you can see there's a bunch of wireframes and stuff on it so we'll just hide all those real quick but you can see there's not a lot of detail here or at least we can't see much detail uh, especially in like the wall over here and stuff. It's really hard to see any detail and the depth of everything and you know all that good stuff Now this is a cartoony model So it's not like it has a crazy amount of detail either way But it does have enough where you should it shouldn't look flat like this You should be able to distinguish the details from each other as if light was hitting it And you can see all the bevels reflecting light and all the crevices grabbing shadows um but you can't right now, right? It's very, very shitty, as I would say. And uh, you can work in it like this, but there's two problems with that. One, it's hard to, you know, see if you have enough details or if you need more details because, you know, right now it doesn't look like it has enough. But once it's in Unreal Engine and it has all its, you know, it has all its bevels connecting with the light, then suddenly it does have enough. And I don't want to be going into the render viewport and set up lights and all that what well, what's the point in that right i'm just gonna be in unreal engine with all its lighting i don't need any of that right so what we're gonna be doing is modifying the solid viewport only so i'm not gonna be touching the shaded viewport i'm not gonna be touching the rendered viewport i, I think that's the name of them i guess material preview viewport and the shaded viewport I'm not going to be doing any of that. I'm just going to be working in the solid for this. Okay. Now there's a couple settings and I want you guys to stay with me till the end and then you guys can tweak them. Just keep them the same as mine until I'm done explaining this until the video is over and then go in and tweak them how you would like. But I'm going to give you all the settings. So just follow along until the video is over. Okay. So you guys can see we have two of the exact same file. Um, and one we're gonna be messing with, okay? So let's go up to here, let's click here, and we're gonna select flat. Now you could select all these different ones and they, they have some different lighting and stuff. This one's okay for modeling. It's a little easier to see where details are, but I don't care about any of these. We're gonna go to flat, and this will look really weird, okay? Especially if you have a low detail model with no bevels. Um, it's only showing us like the bevels, where the bevels are is like a bit darker. If this had no bevels to it, it would look completely flat right now. Uh, now we're gonna go wire color. We're just gonna change this from theme to object. It doesn't matter really, um, but we're, we're, I just set it as this. For color, I'm gonna select object. Now you can see that changes it a little bit, but I just like this setting. You can also have it as single or material or object. I like object just cause it's a little bit of differentiation between the models. And then we, we could also change it to random, but this is one that I kind of toggle on if I need um, I need it for something. Like say I have multiple layers over top of each other and I really want to see which one I'm clicking on. But mainly just go in object mode for normal modeling um, situations. And then the background, we're going to actually go over to viewport. Now this is an optional feature. Although I don't know why you wouldn't use it even if you do only slightly tweak it because you can change the, the background color. What we're going to type in here is a, a color that I like as my background and that's BDDFFF. Okay. This will give you kind of like a sky blue, baby blue kind of color. 
that will mimic kind of a sky color because obviously we can't have a full sky in our solid viewport so we're just mimicking that with the general color of a sky okay and this will help just you know immediately you have a better outline of your model better silhouette you can actually tell what it looks like instead of it on like a gray background because i really hate that okay now we're going to click on the magic settings here so first one is shadow you can see that makes a huge difference and we're going to change our set our shadow here to at 0 0.650 now this is not one that you need it to be at 0 0.650 but like i said just put it as that and later you can come back and tweak that uh, you can see what it does here it's basically just darkening the shadows so if we put it fully to one it's going to make shadows 100 percent black and if you bring it all the way down here there is no shadows so i like it as like 0.65 because it gives enough of shadows without making them look you know too harsh then we're going to turn on cavity now right now i don't like this cavity even though you can see more of the detail and what's happening um, I don't like it because what it's doing is it's taking the actual mesh and it's where there's like, um, I guess where, where the light would be hitting the lines, there's brighter lines and where it would be dark where the lines are, it's making the lines darker. I don't know exactly if that's how it's working or not, but it's something like that and it just doesn't look good. So for me, I'm going to change this to world. Now, if we turn world on and off, it's essentially doing what like an ambient occlusion does. So it's kind of adding in even more shadows and a little bit of highlights, but more in like a realistic way where it's not adding like a harsh line to it. It's actually like emphasizing it. And you can see immediately the difference um, with being able to see where details are within here. You're, you're not really lost. You can immediately see where all the details are. Um, and you can see the depth of something. So that's a good one. And for the settings here, I like 1.5. Now, more specifically, I have is 1.568 in mine. But 1.5 is close enough. I like that. It adds enough brightness to really see what's happening there. And then for the valley, I set it to around 1.25. And uh, you won't notice too much difference because it's not really a huge difference between that. But what you'll notice if you do crank those up or down is essentially it's doing again like what the shadows was kind of doing. But for valley is a shadow and then ridge is highlights. Okay. So valley, if we turn it all the way up to 2.5, where it's the darkest, where it would like have ambient occlusion kind of thing, um, it will be 100% black. If, uh, same with if you turn on ridge all the way up, wherever it would be the opposite of ambient occlusion, like if you made an ambient occlusion mask and then masked the invert of that, that's kind of where your ridge is going to be. And if you put it at 2.5, it's going to be 100% white right on the ridge of things. So I don't like either of those to be that high. 1.5 is good for this one. It just highlights the edge, but doesn't do too much. You could also bring that down a little bit if you don't want much ridge because it's still you can distinctly tell things without the ridge i just tastefully like it okay so ridge is a little bit more of a um a specific thing with valley i like to keep it at 1.2 i don't know why i said specific thing for ridge ridge is more of like a it's up to your liking kind of thing valley is more of a specific thing where i wouldn't really want to crank it anymore than 1.25 and I wouldn't want to bring it far really too far down below 1.25 because then you're losing the whole depth that you get out of this technique so that is essentially all I do with that and you can see all these settings work with whatever one you're using the only difference is object mode kind of highlights some features a little nicer as you can see so material everything's like the same gray object mode Kind of highlights things a little bit i don't know exactly how it works i just know it kind of looks good so i i like it but yeah that's that's my settings for that now in a future video i can go over some other settings um and, and some other things to make your workflow better but let's just see the difference between these two so we have this one and then we have this one 
Now, I want you to just look in like an area like this. And we'll go back to here and I'll go in like kind of the same area. Now, tell me which one you see more detail in, even though they're the same exact model. I can't even tell like where the lines connect within here. And then on this one, it's like I can immediately tell like kind of the depth of that whole area there. Even if I go like this uh, versus kind of go in the same spot, it's you kind of lose where the wall is. It's kind of hard to tell where things are when again in this one, it's very clear. Plus, you have an actual, like, kind of skybox. Not really, because it's just all one color. But, you know, you see the silhouette way better. You go in this one, and it feels, like, claustrophobic. Like, again, you kind of lose where the edge of your thing is. You obviously know, but it's just, like, why would you want it to be that dark? Even if I wasn't going to use this, I would at least tweak, like, I would still put it on viewport and just, like, bring it a bit brighter or like lightly change the color or something just so your eye like kind of can understand what it's looking at even if you set it as some weird thing like green or something it just takes you know your mind's not like mixing two grays together and trying to decipher which one's the model and which isn't it's just not a good thing versus this it's so easy to tell the detail so even if you guys don't use the exact setting settings as me i hope this video has been helpful for uh, for you guys because I spent years not using these settings and one day I was like just clicking around and I found them and I'm like why have I not been using these these are amazing so I hope I help someone with this video if you do get any help from it or you want to see any of my videos in the future that will be much like this one please like comment subscribe all that shit and I'll see you guys in the next one peace out